Here we have number nine. You're going to simplify the radical. Again, these are all square roots. So it is very straightforward for you to just um, think about it as finding the length of a square. Okay. All right. So what are the numbers that make up 75? Okay. So it looks like it is make up of this square of, so we have this rectangle right now of 75, right? We want to break it up into a square right here. And this square is probably 25 and then 25 times three. This is actually a square right here with the length of five. Do we know the length of this radical, uh, this rectangle of three? No, it's radical three. So what's essentially happening here is we're splitting um, radical 75 into radical 25 times radical three. The radical 25 becomes a five. Nothing happens to the radical three. So that's your final answer. Okay, six, same idea, right? 80, if you break it up into eight and 10, that's useless because none of these are perfect squares. So you want to look for a perfect square that's in 80. Okay. I think 16 is in it. Yeah. So 16 times 5. This 16 is a square. That's why it's good. Right. So we can find the length here. The length of 16, which is 4. Do we know the length of 5? No. We leave it as a radical 5. So here... Uh, square root 80 is broken up into radical 16 times radical 5. Radical 16 becomes 4. Nothing happens to that radical 5. So the answer is 4 radical 5. C. Okay, let's break it apart. This 28 is broken up into 4 and 7. We know the this is a square. That has a length of 2. Do we know the length of a rectangle of 7? No, we leave it as radical 7. All right. so radical 28 is broken down into radical 4 times radical 7. Radical 4 breaks down into the number 2. Nothing happens to that radical 7, so that's your answer, 2 radical 7.